This video will show how the Carter Center's Syria Conflict Mapping Project is using Palantir Gotham as their analytical platform to understand the evolution of the Syrian conflict. The Carter Center has been using Palantir to analyze thousands of fully sourced and verified conflict events and events showing armed group formations. The end result of this is a living archive of the military groups involved, where they are operating, what they are doing, and how they are interacting with other groups. These events come from disparate sources of data, including news media, humanitarian organizations, and social media. By integrating information from these disparate sources into one platform, we can easily see temporal and geospatial trends in where the fighting has occurred. For instance, we can drill down into events where the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria has been involved, as well as where and when they have been seen fighting with other armed opposition groups. We can also look within any of these areas of interest or along a particular route for points of interest, such as known military checkpoints or recent fighting. Focusing in on conflict events in the area, we can also see which groups are most active along this route. This capability could be useful for humanitarian groups working to safely deliver aid. We can also use this data to understand the opposition's political and military structure. Looking at a timeline of unit formation events, we can see the rate of new armed group formations increasing until November 2012, after which these formations begin to steadily decline. This likely signifies that the growth of the armed opposition has slowed while existing units have begun to consolidate into larger groupings. YouTube has been a key source for many of these events. As opposition groups involved in the Syrian conflict often post detailed, choreographed YouTube videos to announce the formation of their group or an incorporation of one group into another. At the Carter Center, we have coded detailed data from these videos, including what weapons and symbolism are shown, how many individuals are seen in the video, what types of uniforms they're wearing, and so on. To understand the capabilities of opposition groups, we can look at what groups have been seen with certain types of weapons and when and where those weapons have been used. We can easily see, for instance, where opposition groups have been seen using the RPG-26 by selecting these events and adding them to the map. Using the timeline, we note that sightings began in November 2012, around the time that media organizations began reporting on possible U.S. and Saudi arms shipments to some opposition units through Jordan. We can also find out exactly which groups have been seen using this weapon by moving these events to Palantir's graph application. We can search around these events for linked entities, that is, the opposition companies, battalions, or brigades that appear in those videos where the RPG-26 was seen. From here, we can search around these units again to see from our entire database of groups which units are allied parent units or subunits of the group that have used these weapons. At this point, we can rearrange the network that results to see clearly that all the groups seen using the RPG-26 in this time period are allied to the same military council. Thus, from this data, we might conclude that this military council has had a key role in acquiring and distributing this particular type of weapon. When these weapons can be traced to a definitive source, then we can also learn a great deal about the international backers of some of these opposition armed networks. The Carter Center's analysis shows how Palantir Gotham can be used to quickly and effectively identify trends and interesting conclusions that otherwise might be hidden in the great deal of open source data surrounding the Syrian conflict. Furthermore, the built-in ability to share and collaborate with partners ensures that this large amount of near real-time information can be safely and rapidly shared with the aid organizations and mediators who put it to use saving lives and helping the Syrian people.